Hey there, welcome back to my channel, Take the Bow. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, today we're going to discuss about a business on how to start up and set up a supermarket business. Supermarkets are uh, the grocery store, wholesale store, hypermarkets, and then the departmental store, super stores, where typically uh, fresh produce dairies and packed items uh, branded items non branded items household product beverages uh, consumer goods and day to day routine groceries uh, all those boxed veggies those kind of packed materials would be actually sold uh, almost like a entire day in and day out requirements uh, or for a consumer can be procured from a supermarket uh, it depends on regional specific uh, aspects as well where uh, sometimes uh, regional specific producers would also be uh, provided as a fresh organic products or any packaged material which are in specific to the region as well so it's, it's it's a place where people uh, f procure items for uh, home needs or for restaurants as well so uh, it's more viable to go with a place where you look for setting up this particular supermarket or hypermarket or apartment store where uh, more the visibility the more uh, people can actually pop into the supermarket to get the items can be one or two products to the uh, whole uh, monthly procurement or whole uh, quarterly procurement for a restaurant something like where people easily pops in and spends a bit of time during the day or uh, even after their working hours in order to get the things for households so in like the investment actually uh, happens to be your a place where you invest on it, the place investment, the registration expense, and then initially uh, while uh, getting the producers to your place, the package and the branded producers, you may have to look for a distributor of those producers in your region. And it's, it's okay if you can actually give them the initial cost uh, and most of them can be procured at a credit basis where you can uh, pay them the partial amount and then uh, slowly you can settle down the amounts over a period uh, based on your sales and based on your turnaround so it's, it's, it's typically like you have to get these things invested at the initial phase and then people for billing and supervising would do good and, and CCTV investments of obviously which would actually help you to reduce the headcounts as well as a startup you, you can even uh, round it off to one or two people which would be more sufficient and over a period of time you can slowly increase the headcounts in order to make those step delivery and like uh, on-call orders and dispatching them in packages or dispatching them uh, on bulks so like it it, it depends on uh, the audience to whom you are targeting it depends on people who you are looking for so you know basically the supermarkets are preferred by people across uh, the barrier like across across the economic uh, lines of a person from a mediocre higher end to a lower end would actually look for a supermarket in order to procure uh, products it, it depends on how efficiently you are placing your costing margin and then uh, how do you enter the market uh, where you will have a lot of uh, other competitors shop where they'll be placing rates at different uh, levels so you have to place them appropriately with offers and benefits that would increase the uh, poten like increase the purchases increase the value of purchase that absolutely going to benefit them out of it and in turn it, it gives you a benefit in the margin as well 
So these supermarkets are regional specific and it's it's literally uh, most grown and uh, developing countries would look for these type of supermarkets where uh, a specific focus can be given on uh, certain products depending on region because if you are in a place where people would go for a certain type of products it's obvious that you have to choose them in order to track them in order to make them pop into your shops uh, it's obvious that in a region where uh, a type of or a flavors or more preferred by people you have to go with those kind of producers in great volumes if for people uh, prefer for packaged items it's again good to go with packaged a lot because it's how you place your uh, products besides having the other products it's good to go with these kind of uh, specialized products as well uh, where people would naturally look for them and obviously gonna add few more things and even the rice can be sold at a wholesale price the wheat and then the multi-purpose flour so these are requirements which people procure all together and the beverages baking products those kind of things which people uh, look for occasionally and more often in most of the western countries so these supermarkets are basically brought in uh, from europe and north america so they, they are the typical place where people find in order to get alcoholic beverages canned foods breads bakery products and dairies and feminine hygiene all all those sort of uh, daily requirements from uh, irrespective of age, irrespective of uh, various barriers, they actually have all the products in here. And in in specific to countries where it's, it's it's a growing economy like India, we used to have a specific place where uh, things are organized during the ancient period, where uh, the wholesale products would be sold occasionally from various regions it would be brought by various producers themselves and sold and typically that system got evolved into the supermarket system where everything would be procured by a single owner or a single uh, entity and that will be showcased uh, for people to sell with a margin so most supermarkets would also add the daily consumables, the fr fruits, vegetables and other perishable items like milk and egg, those uh, day, day in and day out requirements. And you know, like it, it has to go through a certain process where uh, people hitting the supermarkets are often going to use different payment modes where you have to go through that like accepting various payment modes would uh, obviously going to increase the uh, inflow and uh, turnaround for you and you know m most of these supermarkets would also have places lavishly in order for the client or the customer to walk through and leisurely select the products in across cabins across racks and sometimes it's good to have some refreshment bars as well, as well where uh, you'll play some some refreshments for them, you know. So that, that would increase people popping into your place, uh, spending more time in order to think about what to procure for their household needs, simultaneously enabling you to sell your refreshment products as well. So it's, it's all like the creative inputs which you try to grasp the attention of the customer. You can even distribute some pamphlets with discounts, fancy discounts and fancy uh, like giving them offers, percentage of discounts at a certain value which would enhance your overall business. So in simple, the basic rule of thumb is to go with the customer's preference, go with the client's or your audience preference which would obviously going to increase your turnaround obviously going to increase your profitability as well 
So I believe we have covered enough of information about supermarket, hypermarket, departmental store, multi-store. So if at all you got anything to say, please let me know in the comment section. If you have anything to add up as well, just let me know. I'll be pleased to hear back on that.